Thank you for viewing today. My name is Sherry White from Fountain of Life Ministries International. We're home based in Athens, Georgia. We appreciate your support in viewing these videos. Today I just want to speak from my heart uh, concerning the body of Christ and the people of God that there are many that are not appropriating their blessings. They're not receiving the promises of God. And today I want to encourage you uh, that the overflow is here. The overflow. In Joshua 3.15, it says that the Jordan River overflows its banks during harvest time. And that scripture came very strong to me uh, a few days ago when uh, I woke up at 5 o'clock and the Lord gave me a vision. And I saw this beautiful river, a wide river, and it was flowing uh, very swiftly. And then all of a sudden, as I watched in the vision, the, the, the waters began to overflow onto the banks. Uh, on the left and on the right, uh, the water was flowing over. You know, King David said in Psalms 23, My cup runneth over. And this is the time of the, of the overflow. This is the time that God wants to pour out His abundance upon His children so that the world will see and know that He is God that he might get the glory. Hallelujah. And so in Matthew chapter 9, uh, Jesus talks about, um, um, in my Bible, these are written in red, uh, the harvest in verse 38, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. You know, and many people use this scripture for salvation. And, of course, it does mean that we are to go forth into the highways and byways and compel them to come into the kingdom of God. You know, that is very important. But let me say this. It also refers to the blessings of God and the promises of God, which are yes and amen. Hallelujah. You know, Moses was not able to cross over into the promised land because he refused to change the way he was doing things, the way he was uh, appropriating what God had given to the Israelites. You know, at, at first God said, strike the rock, and the water just came gushing out and gave them water to drink. But God said, I'm changing things, and he told Moses to speak to the rock. Speak to the rock. And Moses refused. He struck the rock again. We are to speak the word of God. We are to appropriate and bring forth those promises into the natural realm. They are in the spiritual realm. He has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. That's what it says. In the word of God. That we are a royal priesthood. We are heirs and joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Everything that we need, He has provided for us. All the resources are within you. The kingdom of God is within you. Hallelujah. Let's get a hold of this today. I want the people of God to prosper in their spirits, in their souls, their minds, their bodies, and in their finances. I want God's people to receive His very, very best. You know, Brother Fred and I uh, wrote a book and published it uh, a couple of years ago. It's called Walking in the Father's Riches, The Prosperity of Sonship. And it just, it just identifies uh, how the abundance can come to every believer. And it, in, that, in that book, uh, there is revelation of the, the financial realm. And I encourage you, uh, you can get it on... Um, Amazon.com, Walking in the Father's Riches, The Prosperity of Sonship by Fred and Sherry White. And, and we would just love for you to, 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 to read that book and just to receive uh, the abundance uh, of wealth and riches uh, that are in that book. You know, it says here that the, the labors are few. We are to put in the sickle and bring forth the harvest. There is a time of planting, Ecclesiastes, it says there's a season for all things. A time of planting and a time of reaping. And whatsoever you have sown, 
you're going to reap. And if you have sown into the kingdom of God, it is time for you to begin to speak out of your mouth, put in the sickle, speak the word of God, and let those blessings and promises come to you. I am, I am excited about what God is doing in the earth today. He is mighty. He is great. And we are his in his economy. We are in his economy, not the world's economy. We are in the economy that always has plenty. There's no lack in the economy of God. And so I just encourage you today to get into this word right here and to find out your promises for healing, for financial deliverance, hallelujah, in prosperity. Prosperity uh, goes across the board uh, in your spirit and in your soul and in your mind. Uh, some people I see right now coming off their medications uh, for depression and anxiety and pain. I see them coming off of Lortabs and Xanaxes. I see them coming off and being free, free to do and be what God has called them to be. Hallelujah. You know, I see right now uh, that there is an individual that you're going to be promoted on your job. It's going to be an increase in salary. Uh, praise the name of Jesus. Receive that, that word from the Lord. I see people being healed of uh, lupus. I see be, people being healed of their joints, uh, of uh, inflammation in their joints. I see people, uh, a person's left ear uh, is being opened right now. You've had an abundance of fluid behind that eardrum, and it's been very difficult for you to hear. And right now, the finger of God is in that ear, and, it's, and, and, and just delivering it from all that fluid. And so when you start feeling uh, fluid come out of your ear, just know that the Holy Spirit has already done its work uh, in your life. I see a, a, a mother who has just cried and cried over her son uh, that's in jail right now uh, and the, the things that he's been into. God has delivered your son and brought him into the kingdom of God. Receive your son born again and with the salvation of the Lord. Thank you so much for viewing. God bless you. Reap your harvest today. Reap it in Jesus' name.